Salah everybody and welcome back. Today I want to talk to you guys why I think the XM5s are truly the best cross-platform solution that we have on the market right now. This is made by Sony. These are commonly known as the WH-1000 XM5s. But for me, this is the XM5s, the best audio solution over the ear audio solution from Sony that works with Android and iOS. And why I believe that this is actually a better choice than getting an AirPod Max because you know what? It works across systems just as good and it doesn't cost as much. This is TK and this is my review of the XM5s. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. Starting off with the box, this again is the WH-1000 XM5s. I just will refer to them from now on as the XM5 earphones or over-the-ear uh, headphones. I chose to go with the white one, although there's a little bit of, uh, you know, textured on it. But overall, there's two different colors. There's a black one and this color. And the packaging, as you can see, is 100% biodegradable. Sony is very committed to using recyclable material and no more using plastics in their packaging. So even the, the labeling that we have on the top, even the box itself, is actually made out of recyclable cardboard and it kind of permeates throughout the actual experience and it's, it's something that they've transferred over even to their mobile devices so even on the say the brand new xperia 1 mark 4 the box is entirely uh, packaged in a very recyclable experience and of course keep in mind that it does work with iphone ipod even though the ipod is discontinued uh, of course works with alexa as well as works with the google assistant so it works literally with almost every ecosystem and i think that's where it makes this a little bit more flexible let's say than an airpod max unless you're an iphone user this is where it definitely kind of maybe be a better solution for you but even these can definitely give you some really good audio experience there support for 360 audio higher as audio uh sbc and sorry aac uh, the best will be on iphone devices and of course ldac on android devices that support them and of course otherwise it'll jump back down to aac up to 30 hours of usage without active noise cancellation and up to 24 hours of usage with noise cancellation and when they do say industry leading noise cancellation uh, here this is crazy good but this is serious yes industry leading active noise cancellation and these are definitely better than what we've had in the past. Sony still includes a carrying case in the box, although it has been redesigned. And what I probably will say is a lot of people have commented on this, uh, saying that essentially the design looks different. They prefer the old design. You know what? There's a couple of things we can talk about here too. The old design works great. This one actually has a little bit more absorption. As you can notice, the origami kind of configuration that we have on the side, as well as a nice little crease in the bottom here. So that in case where you have it in, let's say your backpack or so on, the box is not going to get crushed. It has a little bit of give, which is different than what we've had in the past. Still have Sony here on the zipper we'll definitely open it up i've already opened it up we have a little uh, hanger here in case you want to hang them on the wall and of course when you open them up you open them up backwards and just take them out of the package uh, the packaging itself very nice very soft material make sure not to damage the actual buds again depending on the color that you're going to pick up you'll be able to pick them up right away the design is different now we no longer have to twist them and put them in there and figure out how to do that in there all of that experience that i showed you before the cushioning on the sides in here everything just translates easily you take them off your head you twist them down you put them in and you're done. No worries, no more configuring things. We still have access to a nice little small compartment here. It gives us uh, a wired 3.5 millimeter head headphone jack. And this is a TRS, not TRRS. So there's no audio pass through in here, just straight up audio in here, stereo. And of course, a USB-C to USB-A to be able to charge up our headphones. Although for me, honestly, I've been using them mostly over Bluetooth as again, that's what they're basically the bread and butter. But if you ever run out of battery, you're not gonna lose audio. You definitely have options in here. Let's go ahead and take out the headphones themselves. And again, the case itself is very nice. And overall, as I mentioned to you guys, it has a lot more give in case you have them in the backpack, which more than most of us will be carrying them with us and you're not gonna damage the box. Definitely very nice and takes less space. As I mentioned to you guys at the beginning of the video, they're definitely lighter. The design is a little bit different. Again, they don't, they no longer do the twisty option. They still have a really pretty good kind of give here in case you wanna put them one ear over the other. Uh, of course, the control here is on the beam. Let's go and let that focus so you can pull put it back in. And of course, there's a little bit more give as well here on the ear cup. So you can notice the new design in there. Um, active noise cancellation with triple microphones on each ear. So we have basically also one additional USB-C here with an LED for power. And of course, the other noise cancellation microphones that we have in here, as well as audio microphones. Uh, we have one, two, and three again over, the, over here, the headphone jack plug, power and Bluetooth pair, as well as active noise cancellation on or awareness turned on. Uh, this one is very easy. You press and hold it once, it turns on Bluetooth and it'll connect. One thing to mention, we do now support multi, uh, well, basically multiple device connectivity at the same time. Touch sensitive uh, pad here on the right side and it gives us the ability also using the pass-through mode. Using this is actually super intuitive. If you're used to using directional or basically how we normally do, if let's say I wanna raise the volume, I swipe up. If I wanna lower the volume, swipe down. If I wanna skip track, swipe to the right. If I wanna skip back, swipe to the left. 
If I want to pause the music, double tap. If I want to play the music, double tap. It's that simple and it works really good. But the last thing is in case you want to turn on awareness mode, let's say somebody walks up to you and you want to talk to them, but you don't want to take off your headphones and you don't have a fumble with anything else. Put your hand straight up on the right ear cup and it actually turns it on automatically. As long as your hand is on the actual ear cup, the audio is basically lowered and of course pass through mode allows the sound to come through. It doesn't shut off your music. It just turns on awareness mode for you. As far as the cups themselves, still very nice, very soft, very comfortable material and it actually permeates throughout, even at the top, although a little bit softer, of course, around the ear cups. Uh, they're not replaceable. I couldn't actually pick them up, but overall, very nice. We have a nice fabric covering here and there's a little bit more foam on top of the actual speakers that we have in here. An indicator of right and left, so you're never going to be confused as to which direction, although naturally I will probably say is the curvature of the actual ear cups will always let you know which way is the right way. Uh, configure them to the way you want them and then of course put them on. Now one thing I will say, the active noise cancellation on these things are crazy good. But putting them on is pretty straightforward. You put them on, configure it to the, to the right height that you want and for the, for, for the best experience this is obviously going to be the best way to use them. You can use them with the wired solution, you could just plug it in. If your phone, like here, the brand new uh, Xperia Pro I supports a headphone jack, you definitely can be pretty good. And I think most Xperia smartphones ever since the Xperia 1 still carry a headphone jack with a really nice stack. So audio experience is definitely going to be good in that solution but we still have DSEE, we still have LDAC and we have obviously a whole bunch of other options. So for that let's switch over to the phone and start looking at the app. Now when it comes down to your smartphone for the most part be it Android or iOS all you have to do is download the headphones app directly from the app or Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and of course it's pretty straightforward. Connect your Bluetooth headset over Bluetooth when you first turn them on it turns on and automatically goes into pairing mode and if you want to pair them a different device all you have to do is shut them down and when you're powering them on again press and hold the actual power button for a little bit longer till you hear pairing mode turned on. From there you'll be able to basically connect them to multiple devices and as I mentioned LDAC does not work with multiple device connectivity but if you do want that uh, you can definitely turn on LDAC and it disables that function and then if you want to switch over between devices definitely make sure to turn that feature back on in the app. Uh, first tab that we look at, we'll notice that there is it's connected via Bluetooth and we have a 91% battery. And one thing to mention to you guys is you do want to jump into your Bluetooth settings and make sure to turn on HD audio LDAC. Uh, depending on the devices, on the uh, on this one, on the Pro I, it definitely was turned on by default by, by itself. But I think I was on my Samsung when I did first connect there, it didn't have that feature turned on. So you do need to turn that on. And once you have that on, you're pretty much set to go from here. So the first thing we'll notice under the sound tab is the ambient sound control. So you can either have it in noise cancellation ambient sound or off. As I mentioned to you guys, if you put a hand on the right side and hold it on the right ear cup, which is the control ear cup, it definitely works the same way, but you can also configure it. And it also is configurable by pressing the ANC button by switching between ambient mode and of course noise cancellation. Now, speak to chat is a really cool feature. Unfortunately, I do not like using this and I do I feel bad saying that, but the reality is it's a great feature for people that don't like to sing to their songs. And let's say you're talking or you're walking around listening to music and you start talking or somebody around you starts talking. The headphones will hear the audio and it will lower the volume and allow you to actually have that conversation. It's a great feature if you work in the office, but essentially for me when I'm using these, I want to be basically in my own little bubble. So for the most part, I turn that off and if I decide to start humming or singing to a song, this is not going to have an issue, but this is also a great feature to have if you need it. Uh, the next one is obviously the EQ. You can customize it and go in there. There's different levels that you can customize. And one of the main benefit here is if you have Dolby uh, configuration, this will also work great with that. The next thing we have here is basically 360 audio optimization, optimizing for the apps if you have them installed. Uh, optimize your smartphone, of course, as well as analyzing your ear shape to be able to give you the best audio. Uh, Bluetooth called, uh, connectivity works on two, separ two separate options, either high quality or better connectivity. So. If you know you're in an area where you suffer from, uh, let's say, audio experiences or Bluetooth doesn't work that well, I recommend you turning on stable connection, which will give you the ability of having a much better connection to your phone. For me, not that issue, so I always love to configure it to go with the better audio quality. So that's just something that you want to keep in mind. Um, DSEE Extreme, if your system supports it, and of course, this is also built into the app, you're able to turn that on in here. And again, this helps you kind of, um, I would say, stylize the audio experience to your liking. From there, we can jump into the system. As I mentioned to you guys, connecting to two devices at the same time, but if I want to do that, it's going to give me that warning telling me that LDAC is not supported. Simple, easy to use. If you want to use it, it's definitely there. I personally like to leave it on LDAC, but I do have that option in case I want to be able to switch it. Um, voice Assistant, as I mentioned to you guys, on Android, it works great and it'll work with both your Google Assistant as well as Alexa. Of course, if you're using this on an iOS, it's going to be more compatible with those experiences there. But for me, I like to keep it with the Google Assistant and it works really nice, especially when I want to be able to use the hot word 
Discord, or if I just get notifications, I want to be able to do audio dictation to respond back. Works really good. And this is something that Sony has been doing very well for quite some time. Then we have the touch sensor control panel, which is turned on by default. And of course, here we can configure the option of what does the ANC button do on the right. Pressing it once switches between basically noise cancellation and ambient sound. If you want to configure it to have them turn off, you can also have that in there. Right now, it basically also works with the double tapping here on the quick access to, uh, section here. Uh, automatic power off, you can turn that on if you want to be able to have them shut off after a certain amount of time. And of course, uh, pauses when headphones are taken off. So it'll actually pause the music when you take them off and starts up again when you put them back on. Notification and voice guide, of course, you'll get those when you turn them on, you'll get the information. If the battery is too low, it'll tell you. And I'll be honest with you guys, within the last two weeks I've been using them, I've had only one time where the headphones told me the battery is too low. Uh, for the most part, these things last forever. Automatic downloads of over the air software. I did receive a couple of those and this actually works very nicely. And of course you can reinitialize it if you want to be able to configure it. Last but not least is the services. Right now, for some reason, I think Sony only recognizes uh, Spotify and certain applications that provide 360 audio. I am using Amazon Music that does have also 360 audio, and it, it seems to work sometimes, but it depends on the services that you like. If you're into 360 audio, my recommendation is to use some of the supported apps. Um, otherwise, for me, as I mentioned to you guys, I like to use the Amazon app, and it works really good for audio experience. Now, as far as the fit and the usage, I've been using these for quite some time, and one of the biggest improvements that they've done over this is for audio quality. And I'm talking actually the microphones that are built in here. Back in the days of the XM2 and XM3s, we had some issues with audio. A lot of people complained about it, and I personally will say they were not the best solution on the market. And now I feel like this is actually kind of been superseding everybody else. The XM5s seriously sound like the best over-the-ear headphones when it comes down to audio quality. And I'm talking about basically how it picks up your audio. So I'm going to give you guys a quick sample right now of a couple of experiences. One, inside of the office with my PC running on full speed with all the fans that I have in there. And of course, the other one outdoors to kind of see how the audio plays. Big difference is make sure you listen to how the audio sounds like when I'm actually next to something that is very loud. Can you actually hear that loud noise or does the active noise cancellation work really good at I listen, well, not just to cancel out the sound for me, but also the microphones make it so good that it listens to only me and give you guys a good experience regardless of the amb ambient or the surrounding noise. Okay, so for a quick example of what the noise cancellation quality of audio is going to be, I have my PC running at full bore, basically all the fans running at 100%, and I'm obviously doing this on purpose to be able to share with you guys an experience that I have. This is the way I normally, let's say, listen to music on them, and I'm using them, let's say, with the PC or even using them with my phone. I actually do not hear any other noise in the office. All of that sound on the side, which I'm probably, hear, well, there's a good chance you guys can't even hear it, so we're going to do a small clip of that at the end of this. But essentially, this is the level of quality of audio that you're expecting, not only from the new microphones, or the noise cancellation, but also the noise cancellation functionality when you're using the headsets. Now we're outside, and this is going to be an example of how the microphones work. There's a little bit of wind that's going around me right now, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear that, and even a little bit of actually a few birds right above me. The experience here essentially is noise cancellation at its best, and also call quality at its best with the improvements that we see with the XM5s. And that was the example there. The overall experience that you're getting there essentially is some of the best audio you can get when it comes down to microphones, but I know these are headphones. They're not necessarily speaker, oh, sorry, they're not really a microphone only type of a solution. So the audio performance is definitely very nice. You can tune it exactly to the way you want it. And because these are over the ear, sound leakage is actually a lot less happening here than what we've seen with some of the other solutions. In ear, sometimes we'll also have that same experience, but overall, uh, they definitely sound very good. The comfort for me, at least, is super, super nice. The ear cups are definitely very comfortable and very easy to use. Um, after an extended amount of time, and when I say extended, I'm talking about 45 minutes to an hour or so, even longer, you are going to start feeling a little bit warm. There's no breathing in here because that's essentially what it's trying to do. It's trying to isolate your ears to provide you the best noise cancellation. So you have to kind of think of that when you're looking at these type of solutions. Do you value better active noise cancellation or do you basically want to be able to say that I want something that breathes and keeps my ear cool? It, this is not a bad thing. This is more about building something or purposely building something for a specific solution. If you're an environment where you do need to have that active noise cancellation and you want it to be crazy good, these are going to do the job for you. They're going to give you great audio. You're able to tune the audio to the experience that you want. Again, LDAC will be the best that you can get on Android and AAC on iOS. And one of the biggest things that you want to make sure is not LDAC may not work on every system. Your, your device has to support it. Um, so depending on the phone that you're using this with, the experience may be tailored there. If you're using this on a Sony device, of course, this kind of will you know kind of using Sony with Sony. They're going to work great. 
Um, and of course, using the wired solution on a Sony here, exactly with the Pro Eye, you're definitely going to appreciate the better DAC performance there. So the audio is not going to lose quality. Uh, most flagship smartphones now, nowadays do not have a headphone jack, but uh, the reason why we have the cable here is because, again, Sony's tailoring to their users, and there's a good chance that you're using a Sony when you're using a Sony uh, headphones. If you're not, you're still going to get that option, and you're still walking around with some of the best solutions that we have on the market. So let's talk about range and audio performance for me range is absolutely crazy i was able to go about 25 to 30 feet away from here before i started hearing some of the crinkling in the audio and depending if you have any walls straight line of sight i was pretty comfortable with it and it works really good I love audio solutions where I'm able to put my phone in the office and then walk out. I don't want to always have to carry my phone, but I still want to listen to the music and of course control it with my watch. So, so those are some of the things that you want to experience there. And there's no question, Sony's are some of the best options on the market. So at the end of the day, are they worth it? Um, what I would say is if you're a Sony fan and you've been using XM series uh, over the years, um, over the year, over the years, <laughs> love the wordplay. Um, it definitely going to speak to you very naturally. This makes perfect sense. These are a natural upgrade over what we've seen before. I think the XM4s are still technically holding their own, so it depends if you're coming there. I would recommend them uh, definitely going in from like an, an earlier generation than the XM4s. XM4s, this is a very uh, generational upgrade. This is typical to what we've seen, and I don't think anybody should be dropping uh, the price tag for what the XM4s were and then a year later decide to go to the XM5s. It doesn't make sense. Obviously, these were designed for people that have er uh, earlier generations of uh, Sony headphones or even coming in from other solutions. Now, how do they compare basically to the AirPod Maxes and so on? I'll say this, I've used the AirPod Maxes and I think the AirPod Maxes are definitely great audio solutions. Uh, their pass-through mode is definitely way better than what we get here with the with the Sony. But at the end of the day, honestly, when I look at them and do they function, the Sony's are a very well-rounded pair of experience. You have great audio, great, uh, and I'm talking about listening as well as uh, recording. So you can use the audio from the microphones. Active noise cancellation, seriously, almost second to none. They maybe AirPod Maxes would be the next one. But the question, and always will come down at the end of the day is what works best for your ecosystem. If you're an iOS user and you're using iPhones and that's the lifestyle that you have, then maybe the AirPod Maxes may be worth it for you a little bit more if you're willing to go up to that price. Otherwise, I really think that the Sony's work in a much better experience because they're really cross-platform. They work with both ecosystem. They're flexible. It's easier to take them from one system to go to the other. Works with, again, with iOS, Android, as well as also with Google, as well as, and of course, Alexa, if you'd like to use that assistant. And that's the thing that you don't get with AirPod Maxes or any of the, some of the other solutions on the market. They typically don't really work well with everything. Um, the ability of responding to notifications, responding, uh, you know, and of course, uh, activating your controls overall with very nice, very precise, very 100% um, of the time works uh, gestures. I think Sony does it really well. So let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of the XM5s? Would you consider them? Have you purchased or used XM series from Sony in the past? And again, I personally enjoy what they offer, but there are definitely some things that you have to kind of, kind of, um, kind of weigh in, in the, at the end of the day. Do they make sense for you or should you consider some of the other options on the market? Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you in the next video.